Hi. Um, I thought I'd like to share with everyone a bit about my experience with Bell's Palsy because I thought it was quite a scary experience initially. So all the materials that I've read and watched online have helped me. So I'm hoping to share a bit about what I'm going through as well. Um, I started getting uh, symptoms um, on a Friday two weeks ago and essentially um, it was weakness in the face. Uh, I went to see a doctor and he came to the conclusion that it was not a stroke. I think that's the first thing that comes to a lot of people's minds when it comes to belt palsy. Um, but he wasn't sure whether it was Bell's palsy because it wasn't full paralysis. But by the end of the day, um, I had a nap and when I woke up at night, it was a full paralysis. So as you can see, when I'm smiling, it's still lopsided. Um, I think I wanted to share a bit about what, what you ought to do. Um, I immediately went back to the doctor the next day uh, to, and he confirmed it was Bell's palsy. And um, he prescribed me uh, a lot of uh, a lot of steroids, which is pednisolone. Uh, for me, it was 60 milligrams a day. Um, and the the important thing is to get your steroids within the first 72 hours. And the reason is because you want to reduce the inflammation in the nerves, and that would help uh, with a speedy recovery as well. Um, the other things that I found helpful um, was when I went to see a neurologist. He just tried to check again to confirm whether it wasn't a stroke by make by seeing my motor skills when you put out your hands like this have someone push down onto both hands and you try and resist and the idea is to see whether there's any weakness or imbalance on one side of your body because if there's any weakness outside of just your face then obviously that uh, may be signs of uh, deeper issues when it comes to your brain uh, the other things that i found found were helpful is um, i couldn't close my eyes completely initially um, it was to buy a uh, micropore tape from 3M uh, to tape my eyes at night to sleep. And uh, in the day, I would use drops like these to moisten my eye through the day just to make sure that your eyes continue to be lubricated. And at night, I used this gel, um, which you can buy. It's different from, from uh, drops because it's more viscous and thicker. So when you put it in your eye, it's, it's supposed to last through the night. Um, so the other videos that I thought helped me online were some of the videos that taught you how to massage your face to keep your face going, as well as um, to exercise as well. So including um, various parts of your face uh, to, keep, to keep the muscles or at least the nerves, uh, try and keep the nerves activated and active. Anyway, the point of this video today I, I thought I'd share is also um, the use of um, electrical devices to help to stimulate the muscles or, or the nerves as well. Um, I have one of these uh, which is used as an EMS, electrical muscle stimulation, which you can use along with a gel to help um, stimulate the muscles into movement. Uh, but what I thought was also helpful was this device um, called uh, TENS, that's Transcutaneous Electrical Nerve Stimulation right here. That's the TENS 7000. On, funnily enough, it was given to me as a gift. Uh, earlier on. So the whole concept is, um, I, I thought it was quite scary. I've never, I had never used it prior to this, uh, having Bell's palsy, it's been sitting in, in storage for a while, um, is you turn the device on, oh sorry, you, you attach the electrodes first. So my, my electrode pads are quite big. Uh, they're 5 cm by 5 cm. Ideally I would have wanted smaller pads to put on my face, but that's all I had. Um, so for me, I put two here. And then I'll and my my device can hold up to four pads at any one point. So I put two here, and I also put two here, and let it run uh, for about five minutes. The good bit about these gel pads is that they also go through my beard, so I can also run them over here as well. Um, so the idea is just keep um, the left side of my face. Uh, stimulated. I run it for about five minutes a day. Uh, the important thing is that I didn't do it too early because I, uh, in my recovery process, I wanted to have uh, the nerves inflammation go down because the whole issue is that your nerves are inflamed and therefore um, uh, it cannot send signals um, down your face. So, but I didn't want to have any form of stimulation too early uh, because I didn't want to damage the nerves or, or anything of that sort. Too, I mean, while I was still trying to recover as well. Um, so, on this machine, you, you basically turn it on here um, to set the, the settings. Uh, the power 
of uh, the amplitude. So I usually have it at about two or three, which is quite low. And the mode I use is burst because the burst gives me some contractions um, in the face, which I quite like, as opposed to just having it constantly um, being activated. So I'll go ahead and apply the pads onto my face. Turn it off first. Here, fringe of my face. So it's self adhesive, which is good. I don't need to put any tape or anything. Here as well. So ideally, I would have had smaller pads, which wouldn't have taken too much space in my head, in my face. But given that's all I have, um, you can always order pads on Amazon depending on where you are for smaller ones. I live in Singapore, so it's not as actively available. And then I just have it down here. That's how I place them. And then I will turn it on. But again, be careful because anything above two and a half, I, I don't like the sensation. It's not pain, it's just a bit of like um, tension, uh, which can be actually uh, mistaken for pain. But it's more just minor discomfort, if, 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 if you may. Um, so I'm turning it on now. Um, that's the different settings that I can have on here. Um, you, you ought to read the instructions of the machine. So again, I have it at burst. And I have a width of 170 and a rate of 100 hertz. And I also put it for five minutes. So I'm just going to turn it on. So I'm trying to see, to feel. As you can see, you're going to see some twitching, which is the machine actually stimulating the nerves in order um, to have it contract. And that's how you're supposed to stimulate the nerves as well as the muscles as well. So the idea is if you have it stronger on stronger, it will actually stimulate the muscles as well to contract, which is what you're seeing here. So some people liken this to a degree, I mean, to acupuncture because you're trying to stimulate the nerves as well. So for some, this could be an alternative. I, I'm not familiar with acupuncture, but thought it was helpful. So basically, I just leave it running um, for five minutes. Uh, again, depending on, on your tolerance, um, the idea is to just have some contraction and you can turn it up as you go along and as you get more used to it, um, just to get the muscles and the nerves to contract, to stimulate them as well. And so that's it. I guess that's the video that shows you how to use this machinist machine or various other types of TENS uh, machines are available online. Um, TNS, TENS is uh, the lower uh, grade of stimulation, uh, or else the EMS, which is electrical mus muscle stimulation, is um, higher powered and therefore contracts the muscles more. But I guess I don't. I don't think that's required for your face, and you want to be careful not starting too strong anyway. Anyway, I hope you found uh, this video helpful. I mean, just to share a bit about my recovery so far. Um, I had no recovery and no signs of recovery at all for the first 13, 14 days, which I've been told, and as you read online, is very, very common because nerves do take a while to recover. Um, but I, I started seeing some small movements, at least um, in, in, in the face, very minuscule ability to, to raise your eyebrow or even raise the cheek a bit um, after about the treaty on the on two-week mark, the 14-day uh, mark. The other, some of the other signs I, I kind of felt as well I mean, is um, some degree of tingling or sensation in the face that showed a mild, like a bit of weakness in terms of movement, uh, that was that actually made me feel a lot more uh, optimistic on my recovery journey. Uh, it's just been two weeks or 15 days right now, um, so it's still early, but I'm doing all I can in terms of 
exercises, massages, eating well, having lots of rest, uh, just to make sure I get um, on the path to recovery as well. Um, these machines are not expensive at all, um, so it, it, it's worth getting them, I think, at least just to feel like you're getting stimulated in the muscles as well. And I think um, it also helps me understand and feel that I'm um, helping um, do, do what I can to, to recover. Um, the other things that I do as well is to um, um, get a lot of vitamins in, such as vitamin C as well as uh, fish oil, um, with the hope that it reduces some of the inflammation as well. Um, well, I, I, I found it very helpful to just read and watch videos that tell me that I'm going to recover. I don't know if I will fully recover. I think there's about a 90% chance of full recovery, but there's still a 10% chance that some people don't recover. Um, so I, I guess um, keeping positive and optimistic is really important in this uh, journey and process for all of us. So I think it's great that we all have each other for support and I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.